Yari Palmberry. Tony Thanks, Brown. Yeah. that I was selected to receive this award from this particular organization. It's very, very dear to me. Although I have to say I would have come anyway. And the reason I was interested was because it was a chance to see people I haven't seen for a long time. Old friends. Old as in, as in old. <laughs> people of my generation. <laughs> and I have to tell you, particularly those of you who are 20 and 30, we were fierce. <laughs> I have always been attracted in my novels to what I call outlaw women. <laughs> Not because I necessarily approve of their behavior, but I have to tell you that, some, that the nature of being a woman in those days and earlier, particularly for black women in any country, was to be an outlaw. You just started out illegal. <laughs> and you had to struggle with that definition through whatever you did. Nobody wanted you to do any of it. And nobody had any expectations that you would do anything but what you were told. So you're already illegal. It is very pleasant for me, so exciting for me to see women, young women, who say, I am writing, I am painting, I am making a film, I am. And they are not questioning whether about the possibilities and who doesn't want them to do it, etc. They have indeed, I think, taken the best of what we were about in that arrogance, ferocity, clarity, and the stuff we got from one another, taking it to another step. So that I hear women say, less, I want to be. They are saying, no, I am. That's right. <laughs> It has usually been um, the journalists, uh, the writers, the poets, uh, the novelists, um, the artists, who have in many ways been the first to hear the boots and the knock on the door. There are reasons for that that I think all of you know much better than I, and certainly uh, the poetry that was uh, read earlier speaks to that, because when you speak truth to power, they come after you first. I think that this is an important gathering at an important time um, in the world. You've got a responsibility you have a responsibility to speak truth uh, to power um, and to own some concepts and words. In every stillness, there's an ancient story of muti, tokoloshis, and myths and spirits who climb into your dreams, creating fear in times of bliss. But I hold a pen for every witch and bitch with black magic in her genes who seeks to love beyond these silences and claim back the sanctity of her dreams because if I, as the past, will be the pain of my children. If I, as the present, will be the shame of my children. If I, as the future, will call their lives a sin, I speak of things that words can kill you for.